How's it going, everybody? Hello. <laughs> so it's been what? Two weeks since we've done these videos. Uh, We're still a, alive. Still alive. I mean, if you've been following Minnesota Comic Exchange and the channel you're on now, Noggin Comics, you realize we've been very busy the last two weeks. Uh, we had the Marvel Universe, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe discussion, and then this one interviewed Dennis Vulgan. Yep. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, please do. It is phenomenal, and I don't mean to... I wouldn't say that. It, for her first interview, <laughs> she did a hell of a job. Uh, and we hope to have more creators. Mm. But, uh, yeah, you're watching this on Noggin Comics' YouTube channel instead of Minnesota Comic Exchange, and that is because we want the exchange to become a discussion forum, a place that we can all talk and all be on. So we decided to spin off Noggin into its own channel. Yeah. Um, so expect, you know, these weekly videos like usual. Uh, individual books too, like uh, graphic novels. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some Star Wars discussions with this one. <laughs> um, but yeah. we got new setup, new lighting, new camera, new mic. Um, but... Before we talk about this week's comics, yeah. I want to talk about this. <laughs> a 9.6 CGC Mindbender Comic Town 101 exclusive. We won this. We won something. <laughs> um, came in the mail today, and I'm like, babe. I thought we were giving a mystery box, but there was a slab at the door. <laughs> and she's like, what is it? And I'm like, is Piper? That's the artist. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we want to give a major thank you to Scout, Com Comics. Scout and Comic Time. I know, we, I know this is a giveaway we want it, but still, that channel and the box is one of the main reasons why we got into the comic community. Yep. Um... But totally. another thing before we get into this week's comics is what we enjoyed last week, two weeks ago. Yes, on June 30th. June 30th, um, because we, we were gone. Uh, no, we were busy. Busy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what was your favorite book? If you just pick one book, <laughs> but what was your favorite book from two weeks ago from Wednesday now? Um, I think it was Barbaric number one from Vault Comics, Michael Morrissey, and I can't remember the artist right now. Um, but yeah, it was just a really good um, first issue. Michael Morrissey is a great writer. You have a talking axe and uh, basically a barbarian character. So, I was sold. And a witch. And a witch. Yes. Uh, my favorite from two weeks ago was actually crossover number seven. Uh, Chip Sardarsky took over for Donnie Cates with Phil Hester on mm -hmm. artwork. And it's probably the most meta piece of comics I have ever read. It's true. Uh, basically, it's like, how far can narcissism take you in life? <laughs> it felt like. Yes. Uh, but also, is finding one's true love in themselves, too. Mm -hmm. It's a very complex storyline. I think it's one of the best comics so far of 2021. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. All right. But, uh... Let's get into July Let's get, yeah. 7th. Let's get into July 7th, and we'll switch things up. You know, new channel, new content, new format now. Instead of doing, you know, our top five, we're going to do each other's huh. top five. Yes. So, I want you to kick it off. All right. I think my number five is Noctera number five. Very fitting. Um, I just think that this series just keeps getting, like better and better. I mean, I was in it from the beginning, um, just having Scott Snyder and Tony Daniel on the story. I'm sold. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this issue just character builds a lot more. Um, and I mean, I don't really know what else to say, except like, I just felt so immersed in it. And it kind of just has that lingering, like something's going to happen in the next issue. So I'm ready. Very much has that walking dead feel to it. Like, you yeah. know something's going to happen. Kind of like a slow burn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my number five, which is basically like the curveball <laughs> of the entire week, is New Day, Power of Positivity. 
uh, Evan Narciss and uh, Austin Walker write it with Daniel Bayless doing the artwork. And the team really captures the wrestling stable of the New Day. You got Kofi, you got Big E, you got Xavier. And this was one of those books where it was just a lot of fun. Like, I, I can't deny I had a lot of fun reading this. It was the very first book that I read from last week. We read 30 plus books. Mm -hmm. And for me to retain everything <laughs> from this issue showed this book was a lot of fun. It always makes me want to have pancakes, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the coolest thing is, too, that it, it shows the impact that Kofi had on Big E and Xavier. And you just... I, I'm a diehard wrestling fan. I've been a wrestling fan since I was, like, five. But... Yeah, 97, so yeah, five. But, yeah, it's just one of those things, like, I think wrestling and comic books go hand-in-hand, hand, and this worked extremely well. All right. Uh, and my number four, whoop, hello, was Basilisk, I can't speak, number two, from Colin Bunn, Jonas, or Jonas Scarf. Jonas. Uh, Jonas. I mean, it could go both ways. Um, anyway, from Boom Studios, number two. Um, I mean, number one also made our list, uh, like, last month, but... Yeah, months ago. Month ago? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think this issue just... You're starting to learn more things about these newer characters, and just, like, the artwork from page to page is just so cool. There's almost like an evolution of artwork. Yeah, and a horror aspect with one, a certain art style versus the other art style. Um, that but yeah, final page. that final page is just awesome, and it just keeps you wanting to keep turning the page. So mm -hmm. I'm sold. At least for me, because I like Colin Bunn and I like horror books. I, much like mm -hmm. my critique, not really critique as much as my addition to what you were saying from last month, is this is Colin Bunn's Scott Snyder story. I, mean, I feel like those polls, like you're looking at that cover right now. Does that guy not look like the main character from American Vampire? No, this guy looks like one of the main characters from Vampire, American Vampire. Yeah. Not like the main character. That's not, um... Oh my god, now we're horrible people for forgetting his name. Oh. It's the guy who comes in who's like the, the 70s or 80s character. He's like... Oh, I was thinking the main character, No, actually. no. Not, yeah. No. Okay, that's I'm just saying, like, it's very much like Scott Snyder's Nocterra, which you just talked about, but it's and not. American Vampire. Okay, he can have his opinion, so. but I think that, I don't know, like, maybe I'm a sucker for, like, Colin Bunn, Colin Bunn and female baddies, quote-unquote? I don't know. Okay, continue. So, <laughs> my number four pick is Crush Lobel. Number two. Number two. Yeah, I made the list again. Huh. Uh, <laughs> and it makes me want to go back to read Teen Titans, the Teen Titans that I didn't read, yeah. that introduced Crush, because I love her. Yeah, I kind of want to read it, too. You're like, she's just, I want to like the new age badass of the DC universe. Yeah, she's I mean, I can relate spunky, to her eating all this food. Funny. <laughs> and, like, I, I love Lobo. That's where mm -hmm. this came in at. And... Lobo's not in it all that much. Right. Or, yeah, yeah. And, and yet I'm still having a great time reading it. The artwork is spectacular. Tamaki's mm -hmm. writing. It is, really surprised me, too. It, it is very accessible. Anyone can read this book. Yeah. Like, I don't really like Lobo, necessarily. Um, he's okay. And that's very but... hard. Honestly, this mm -hmm. recommending any Lobo book to any individual is difficult. Yeah, so this could be a good gateway, or just a good... It like, could be a great gateway yeah. to anyone who wants to read Lobo books, but mm -hmm. it's just, much like New Day, you're having a blast reading this, you're having a good time, you're laughing. I mean, it's one of those comics that make you snort while reading. So. Uh, that was your experience? Okay. <laughs> um, now my number three is, I have to remember, Wonder Girl number two. I also got the Pride cover, of course. Um... But, yeah, let's just talk about Joelle Jones' artwork just continues to amaze me. I know that, let's see, she doesn't do the artwork for she this whole entirety, issue, yeah. and I gotta find another person's name. Um, but yeah, I mean, it switches back and forth, which I don't hate. So the other person is Adriana Mello. And, yeah, you just kind of get to know a little bit more about 
what's really kind of going on with Yara Floor and um, kind of a little bit of her backstory as well as why are these people going after her? So, um, yeah, I mean, if you're not reading this story, it's just really good, I think. So, it, it's, it's got a good. It's got a good story. It's got a good body to tell okay. what's coming. Whose pick is this? So, you can add to it. You <laughs> have the Edge Christian logo. <laughs> I'm joking. So. No, I, yeah, I think it's a good story too. And that make my top five. Yeah, I was a little like, the person at the end coming in, I'm like, um, okay, where is this going exactly? It's but, no, it's, it's uh, well, spoilers, it is... Don't say it. Yeah, no, it's a certain, like, character and I'm like well, a cruel and cruel potential love interest yeah but let's not focus on that let's focus on your floor being a badass but so, that's just me uh, my <laughs> third pick is Justice League Infinity um, so I love the Justice League anime series and this just felt like an expansion to that it felt like an episode it even alludes to episodes and where to catch this reference from mm -hmm. um Anything that's got to do with Johnster, Hawk Girl, and now Vixen, mm -hmm. I'm all for going, this is an expansion of the anime series. Mm -hmm. Which I still need Which to Which you haven't seen, so I think we had a different experience by reading it. Yeah, but I love that it was apocalypse-centered. Oh, yeah. Any goodness. In the I mean, of... the artwork is very much of that boost, Jim. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, the bringing in the apocalypse and new guys. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. Granny Goodness is awesome in it. There's this one really cool page that is so cool. Like, all of the characters in one, <laughs> in one scene, which I was like, okay, I need to now go back and watch the show. Oh, yeah. You, I have been saying watch the yeah. show for the last couple of years. But it also has really awesome Martian yes. Manhunter moments. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. I can't wait to see what the next, well, it doesn't even have a number on it, it just has number one. But I can't just wait to see what the future is of this. Isn't it going to go on for infinity? Ha! Unlimited, like the series was. Mm. So. Puns. Okay. So my number two, like you saw, is Fight Girls number one. A this AWA, Frank Cho and Sabine Sorry. Rich. So we actually got to briefly meet Frank Cho in Chicago. He was pretty cool. Got a few prints. But I didn't know that he really wrote slash drew mm -hmm. comics. So this this story, basically the premise is, it says on the cover, there's 10 women. Basically, whoever wins moves on to the next um, task. Oh, just read the race. Tag, Okay. 10 women, four challenges, one crown. Winner rules the empire. Universe. Empire. empire. Oh, empire. <laughs> so... Yeah, just like there's dinosaurs. It's not really a spoiler, but that's pretty when awesome. When you have Sabine Rich, Rich doing the coloring yeah. on Frank Cho. Yes. Like, yeah. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. But I think the way that this is building and maybe over the next four issues um, is, is maybe going to, you know, pin people against each other or something in the background is going to happen. Who knows? But I'm hooked. So. Can I be honest? What? It probably didn't crack my top ten. Okay, well I liked it, so... so. <laughs> anyway, that's my take. My number two, <laughs> which is a toss-up because it could... This ties into one other book in DC Universe, is Suicide Squad 5. Uh, and I mentioned, I don't want to give spoilers away, but it ties into another book. Mm. Yeah. And you preferred that book over this. Yeah. And we should just say it. It's so final thing. <laughs> but I kind of feel like this is almost tying into the film coming up because Bloodshot, a Bloodsport, mm, blood sport, yeah. was right on the first page. Just pure badass. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome shot. It, it actually just wrote the whole book. Yeah. And it kind of it ties into Cramps in the Kit as well. And honestly, this is a better version of Cramps in the Kit. Yeah. Because... <laughs> The issue that just recently came out of Cramps and the Kit was probably it just, my least liked book of the week. Yeah, it just like featured the team in it. Yeah, and I mean, I, I love the, Cramps and the Kit. I love the whole storyline. Yeah, yeah, the concept is too, but the concept is cool, but the execution hasn't really been really there. But yeah, it, for us, 
But this has been a very strong Suicide Squad run. Yeah. Especially coming off to Town Taylor's run that I thought was yeah, perfect. Yeah, so good. So good. So. And... Pick up Suicide Squad if you Yeah. Know. Or maybe wait for the first arc to come to an end. Yeah, that's exactly when she left the first um, arc. Yeah, so we have just this uh, cover um, yeah. shared top pick of the week, as it maybe should be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, nice House in the Lake 2 with this cool variant cover. Um... Yeah, what do you want to really say about this? I I love how the the continuation of the yeah. gr the greatness of issue. I mean, one. it kind of starts off in the same way as number one did, where it's just the one character talking and then it continues, and there's not just there's different types of dialogue in this, kind of similar to the first issue with that social media. This is page, all but... character building, all character yes. and word building. It's just. Uh, I mean, Tiny has taken his time with this book, and it is going to drive people nuts, but in the best type of way. In the best type of way. I mean, you're going to fall in love with these characters. Yeah, and Walter is creepy as hell, so that's kind of the awesome point. But awesome is like one of, one of the coolest creations of the year. Yeah. This whole book is cool. Oh like, I, I feel like this could be a a Netflix series or a big budget HBO horror Max. film. Well, yes, yeah, DC, so it be HBO Max. Yeah. But, yeah, what really is like... In the manuscript, how they use a manuscript yeah. talking about what, what happened in the house. Yeah, it's just so smart. And like another page where it's just the symbols and. Like one, it you have to read it multiple times to yeah. really enjoy it. Yeah, I read number one right before I read number two, and I feel like I'm gonna keep doing that. And there's this really cool page of the co uh, comics. All the comics, like on the shelf. Almost like the comics yeah. that inspired him. Right, I just thought that, that was a cool cool tie but yeah if you haven't read one and two already do yourself a favor and read it asap so yeah it's yeah i have a feeling it could be the next something's killing the trailer type of book yeah i, I mean, mean i'm not saying it's the same writer but right. i'm just saying but i'm just saying this is that good <laughs> but yeah thank you for uh, coming out to the first top comics of the week for the yeah. noggin channel it's a little bit longer it's but... a little longer and we each have our own opinion. We, we have each we have our own <laughs> opinion, and we we plan on growing. I mean, we plan on changing stuff, and yeah. Um, this is a new channel. I mean, new beginning. That being said, we we can continue doing content from Minnesota Comic Exchange. It's just now, I feel like we have an opportunity to continue growing, mm -hmm. and we want you guys. To do that, we want you to like the video. We want you to subscribe. Just subscribe and do all that stuff. Do, do everything <laughs> and comment. Yeah. What was your favorite book from last week? Uh, why was it The Nice House on the Lake? Let's yeah, just be honest. That's true. Um, I guess not fight girls. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I saw everything coming from that book. Okay, but. There was no surprises. Yes. Okay. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to Naga Comics. Watch any of these dance Vogan. Yes. Um, and if you're in the Minnesota area, let us know if there's any creator that you would want us to reach out to the interview potentially. Or if you're that person. If you're that person, if you're or if you own a comic shop, we would love to visit the comic shop and talk to you. So, but thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and see you at the comic shop.